Howdy, I'm going camping. I'm going to be doing a loadout video now of everything that I'm going to be bringing. It's going to be winter camping, it's going to be for one night, it's going to be a low of 18, a high of 8, uh, a possible 5 to 10 centimeters of snow so far. We'll see. Um, I'm going to break this into a couple parts. I'm going to be doing the sleep system and shelter first. I'm going to go to outerwear, uh, then I'm going to be jumping into everything I'm going to be bringing in my pack, uh, the accessories, uh, tools, and uh, hopefully get a weight of everything together as well. Let's get started. So sleep system, I'm going to be carrying all of that on a sled. It just makes it a lot easier. It's not going to be particularly heavy, but it's very, very bulky. So I'm going to be moving it out with there. Upon getting to the campsite, I'm going to start by throwing up a hammock. It's a parachute hammock, piece of cake. I love these things. I'm going to put down, uh, this is all closed cell foam, and then I'm going to start with a normal sleeping bag. This is good for, whoop, this is a good for uh, six degrees. I'm going to wrap this around the hammock so that half of it is an under quilt and the other half I'm gonna be sleeping on top of. And then I'm gonna put another sleeping bag down. This is good for minus 18. It says minus zero, that's in Fahrenheit. Um, and then this has like an intermediate layer in the middle so you can have it on top of you or underneath you. I'm gonna have that on top. I'm going to be inside of this, which is another sleeping bag, which is good to, uh, I think it's two or three degrees Celsius. And then I'm going to hop into the big winter sleeping bag. From there, an inflatable air rest, whatever thingy is uh, going to be going inside. It's like the self expanding and that's all going to be inside the sleeping bag on the hammock with a little bit of under quilt. And then I'm going to put up a guy line across the very top and then hang tarp over top. This is 8 by 10 and I'm going to be doing this human sausage style where I'm going to be just in the hammock and it's going to be spun all the way around in like a cylinder cinched it at the bottom and pulled over top of me. At this size it should be big enough that I can put my pack inside of the big protective cylinder and uh, yeah, oh, and then I'm also going to be bringing one more tarp and it's going to wrap my sleep system inside my toboggan while I'm dragging it around. And then I've also got this for camp, fire, shelter, anything whatsoever handy to have. So as for what I'm going to be wearing the entire time, um, I'm going to start with liner socks. Then I'm going into nice winter woolly socks. These are made of merino. So between this and this, it's going to wick really well. I'm going to have two pairs of socks with me, wear one, pack one, uh, winter underwear. I'm going to have long johns, top and bottom. Everything's going to be very breathable and natural wicking fibers. Uh, from there, I'm going to have just like an athletic undershirt. And then I'm going to be, so undershirt, long johns over top. And then I've got another wool thin sweater that's going on over top. And then I've got some winter type insulative pants. Um, these things are great, they work well for me. And then I'm gonna be going into a, another wool sweater over top. Lots of wool, very breathable. And then I'm gonna be doing the actual snow pants. These are the only thing I'm iffy about, but it's gonna work um, just because they're made of canvas, but they're tough. And if I get a spark on it, it's not gonna burn through or anything like that. Then I've got a down vest that I'll be wearing either over top of my parka or underneath, depending. Not sure yet. And then I've got the actual winter parka that I'm going to be wearing. So I'm going to totally be warm enough. And then as for my boots, I'm going to be doing These guys here, I take out the insoles and then I put in a pair of very thin uh, trail running shoes. And then I've got like arch support and these are like fully waterproof and it's worked well for me. And that is what I'm gonna be wearing. 
Next, kitchen stuff and random stuff. So, pot, one liter Stanley, another one liter. It's a steel single wall. I've got a little wind shelter and I've got one of those. I'm doing a spork, dish soap, SOS pad as well, a little piece of the sponge, uh, water treatment, just in case I'm going to be boiling water. Um, and then I'm also going to be bringing a bunch of water because I've got a very, very short approach to actually get there. Um, headlamp. I'm all about headlamps. Uh, Mora. Saw. And stuff. Bank line. Um, this water bottle I'm going to be using as a pillow as well. And then I've got just like my basic blowout kit kind of stuff. I've got toiletries. I've got matches. Zip ties. Yada yada other little things like that and it all goes into there and I'm going to be bringing some nails as well that I can use to like fasten a chair and everything like that and then uh, what I do not have present here at the moment is a first aid kit I'm gonna grab that and throw it in here but be known there is a first aid kit and my backpack of choice is this is a 45 liter it has a little flip top normal stuff goes all the way down to the bottom it all encloses on itself good straps and everything mesh back so it kind of sits away from your back as you're walking around um you can put a hydration pack in it but those aren't really my style so that's what i'm going for and then finally what I'm going to be bringing for food, I'm going to be going there uh, first thing in the morning. So I'm going to have like a big collective uh, breakfast and, uh, and lunch. Let's call it brunch. That's a good idea. I'm going to be having brunch. I'm just going to be bringing two big like pre-made sandwiches, no cooking, no hassle. And then I'm good like straight up until dinner. Um, I'm going to have a bunch of other snacks and everything like that. I've got like, you know, your normal stuff, trail mix, uh, candy. Yeah, why not? Um, and then once uh, dinner time comes around, I'm gonna be making like a pesto kind of high oily thingy with like parsley and all that fun stuff. Boil well, off some pasta, cause it's very easy to trade with people that go through a lot more work than you to make nice food. So easy tradesies and then very, very filling. Um, I've got a can of stag chili. I don't really like this stuff, but it has like the little pull top and just whatever, why not bring it? Um, and then as far as uh, like wine goes, I'm bringing a bottle of red wine. I'm gonna pour it into like an even smaller container from there. I don't wanna drink a whole like thing of wine. Um, morning, I'm gonna have a hot water bottle that's gonna be just like a normal temperature, body temperature water bottle. So I'll drink that. And then I can use my burner and everything like that to make porridge. These have brown sugar, and they also have like little dinosaur eggs, so it could be a lot of fun. And then I'm gonna be making uh, coffee as well. So I'm gonna get my this and throw it in the fire and get it boiling. And then I'm gonna throw my Chemex filter with the coffee into the pot and then pour it through and then drink it. And there's probably gonna be enough like heat loss and everything like that transfer going through the whole thing where it's gonna be drinkable. If not, add water. And that is gonna get me all the way through my camping. Fingers crossed. So there's a couple things that I forgot to mention, a couple items that I neglected to, to say. Uh, first thing is that I'm bringing a shamog as well. I can put that over top of my head, wrap myself up like a ninja, use it as a blanket, a backpack, anything. Y'all know what they do. They're pretty cool. So I'm bringing one of those. I'm going to be bringing a pair of very fluffy, like athletic jogging pants as well for extra insulation. I can chuck them on over top of whatever I'm wearing and then hop back in my snowsuit. Um, I brought also uh, bringing a bag of like cut up uh, steak that's already been seasoned and everything and you can poke it on a stick and roast it over the fire and it's like a meat marshmallow and you can share it with people and it gives you something to do. Um, and then a thing of Jiffy Pop as well because like you, you almost have to bring Jiffy Pop. Um, and then I got a total weight of everything as well. I got my weight, um, wrote it down of me like naked, and then put on everything that I was going to be wearing. I uh, picked up the toboggan. It had all of my sleep system on it. It had a steel shovel attached to it. 
uh, put on my backpack, food, and full water bottle, hopped on a scale, and it weighed 49 and a half pounds. Uh, and for winter camping, I can totally deal with that. I'm going to be pulling it behind me. I've got some luxury items. I got the extra sleeping bag, I've got the shovel. I've got just like, I'm, I don't know. I'm very, very comfortable with this. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Wish me luck.